I'm Florence Balladay 3060, staying safe in quarantine. <laughs> Well guys, we have a special package here. I wonder what is in this. I've brought something for myself. No, it's not a pair of pink shoes or whatever would have been in this. I'd say Joe or something on there. Small parcel. Well, you guys know from the title what's in here, but I wonder what it looks like. Lovely pink box. Who wants to have a look? Let's take a look inside. Right, time's come to open up. What's in the box? I'll point the light over it as well to make it a bit brighter. Let's have a look, shall we? What's in this mystery box? Hmm. Parcel. There's a little bit of card. Nothing on it though. A bit of wrapping. Been generous enough to send some wrapping. Oh, we've also got some silica gel bags. Do not eat. I was notorious for bursting these when I was little in shops and throwing them all over the floor. I still do it now, actually, sometimes. For your information, ha, look at this. I might have brought some shoes. <laughs> Let's have a look, shall we? What awaits me? Black bag. In there, and then we can see what else. We've got some sort of, yeah, they've wrapped it all in the shoe bags. Do you hear that? I wonder what that is. Oh, it's a bit interesting, doesn't it? Let's have a look what this is here. A plug. I wonder what that is. It must mean some kind of appliance. Are you ready? I wonder what that is. Okay guys, this is, I believe it's a 1960s model, Dateline model DLMD, hairdryer. Yes, that's a hairdryer. It basically looks like a miniature fan here. It's literally got an on and off switch and that's nothing else on there. I found this on eBay for about, I think I paid 14 for it, £10.50 for the hair dryer and then about three pound fifty for postage um i only bought it two days ago it's arrived a lot quicker than i expected i haven't plugged this in yet so i'm going to do like a quick test before i sorry about that guys i just had a uh, courtney called there and we just talked for a little bit <laughs> oh, really sweet hero again um so i was saying before this here in this vent there has a cylindrical blower fan or a centrifugal fan. I also call it a squirrel cage fan. Um, rather than having an actual propeller fan like, mo like most hair dryers do, this is because it's long. So my guess is you'd hold it like this. I mean, it's gonna be probably a little bit awkward, but it's a good idea. Um, we are gonna plug her in because, just to hear how it sounds, the owners did, uh, sorry, well, the owners, the sellers did say this is electrically safe, but I'm just hoping it isn't going to do anything to electricity. Um, there was also, while I was browsing eBay, there was a, I can't remember who it was by, it was not Colton or something, I can't remember what, um, Carlton, I'm not Colton, I can't remember who it was by, it was some, began with a C, um, or Castrol, I can't remember, I can't remember. Basically, it was a hairdryer and travel iron combo. So basically, it was a two-in-one. You could have a hairdryer that also attached to the base of an iron, and you just flick the switch for it to go hairdryer or iron. I thought it was interesting, but the seller said you might want to get it electrically tested because of its age. 
which of course brought up all the thing about, you know, after what happened with that Black and Decker Stowaway one, when it blew up on me, I am not going to chance that probably with a travel iron at the moment. Um, and so I'll start learning, learning how to pack, pack test stuff. So I'm hoping this isn't going to trip our breaker again or do anything like that. Basically what it did, for those who didn't know or were confused about what the Stowaway one did, it basically tripped the breaker switch to all the upstairs sockets only. So that's why the light stayed on, but all the plugs went off um, because that's what it tripped. But it was, as I said, the one I use here again, if you might be able to see it, it's a surge guard one. I only ever use surge guards ones in my room because I've got a lot of vintage uh, like radios, lamps and whatnot. And because I plug my computer in and of course for using hair dryers and irons, I just want it to be safe. So I was lucky I was plugged into one. I'm going to plug her in and let's see how she sounds. Plug her in. I don't know if that's on or off at the moment, actually. There's not even a... Oh, okay, that's probably on because there's a black dot on that. Springy sound. Ready? I'm scared. Wow, that's quite powerful. Sounds like a vacuum cleaner. That's got quite a powerful blow to it. Mmm, lovely vintage smell. That, oh, you're holding it, it actually like vibrates quite a lot. Oh, that's like a, it's like, you know, you know what it sounds like? Those pumps you use to blow up, like blow up mattresses and whatnot. That's what it sounds like. And one of those handheld vacuums. That is amazing for a hairdryer. Probably the loudest hairdryer I've heard. Right, I'm gonna go down my shower and we're gonna see how this thing goes. It's a single speed and single heat. So that's how I can tell this is probably from the 60s because it's a very, very basic uh, design. It's probably got the input there or something or you know, takes it in through there and there as well, blows it out here. It actually doesn't smell of burning or anything, so I'm glad about that. There's a slight smell, but it's just also being old. Right, I'm gonna put this to the test in a minute, so I'm gonna go and have a shower, nice scrub, all clean. And then we'll come back. See you then. All right, guys, so my hair dry hair. Oh, I wonder what's going over. Let's have a look. One of a fair few flights that fly over. It is, ooh, China Southern 304, an Airbus A38841. Sending in their A380s, and there's a Bluebird Nordic 737400 special freighter going over. We're going that way. Down south. All right. I'm a hairdryer. A brush. We are literally just going to do a test to see how long this takes to um, dry my hair because there's no other speed settings or whatever on it. Just literally one heat and one speed. So three, two, one, go. That is insane how that sounds. Not. I mean, it's not the most powerful, but probably because of the uh, blower fan rather than actual propeller. So I reckon you would have held it like that. It's like a comb it is. It'll probably take ages to dry my hair. Crazy. It's not even that warm either, to be honest, really. It's just a little. But the vibration that's going through my hand is like. It's weird. It's the weirdest hairdryer I've ever used. But it's fun. Try going over that. Like hmm. Also, I'm not going to keep it all running at once because it might it might overheat it. 
It's all right, but it's not. It could be more powerful, as what I'm going to say to you. That is definitely one of the least strongest hair dryers I've used. But at the end of the day, it's not for its strength. It's just the uniqueness of it. I've always wanted one of these that looked like fan heaters, and I'm going to go looking for more. Probably. So I'm try again. Let's start us off. It's just got that really nostalgic vintage smell. If you're a collector of vintage appliances, you'll know what I mean. It's hard to describe it, but it's like, it's just the smell of like, yeah, like 60s. The blow on my curtains, you see that it can just about blow it from this far away, about a meter away. Hot That's quite hot when we do that. It's getting a bit hotter now. If I do this. Come on. That's quite, it's relaxing though, hearing it. Yeah, it's definitely getting hotter, I can feel it. It gets slightly warmer. A bit more there. Let's go slow. It's quite hot now. Stop there. So that is roughly three minutes and 47 seconds it took to get all that done. It's not fully dry yet. But that's because my hair is just like stupidly long and thick now. Hopefully though. Ew, it's just a mess. Hopefully, though, it's, uh... I'll have enough hair, yeah, hopefully they'll open some salon soon. God, I'll, I'll have, my hair will be so thick, I'll be able to do a male version of the B-52's beehive, basically. <laughs> Can you imagine that? I'll get all my hair up like that. Right, let's try and do it, yeah. Nearly enough for a beehive, see, you can imagine it. <clears throat> yeah, can you imagine it? Yeah, hang on, see? Yeah, um, let me see. Can I get it? To quickly do it, look. So you can imagine the beehive and then going. See, imagine that, you could do rock lobster. But anyway, so this here is a 1960s Dateline model DLMD hairdryer. Single speed and single heat. It has got a rating of well, no wonder, it's only got 450 watt heater. That is not even like half of what most normal hair dryers have, like about 750 watt or something. But it must have a very tiny element because it'll only be the length of that. Maybe just here, so you have the element will probably be the size of that. Mainly here just being all the control board and the wire, well, you know, the controller and switch and wiring. Um, but it's really a unique, um, I don't know what color, if it's, it's like a teal, no, there's a word they call this avocado color it is, but it's obviously faded. Um, it's meant to be like a sort of like a baby blue color, so I think what it is. But it's obviously over time it's gone like yellow from heat and just yeah. But it has been kept in very good condition. Um, I'm actually going to allow the eBay seller to know that I've done the video of this, so I hope they've watched this. Um, but fantastic condition, amazing shipping. That that became like a whole three days quicker than it was meant to. So yeah, I'm really impressed by that. Um, any electrical people here know what that square means on there? 
Oh, my boy. Oh, that must be the heater, actually, I think. I said the heater. I don't know. Dateline Electric Company Limited, model DLMD 240 50 hertz. 450 watt. Okay, yeah, so it's, it's an American, because I mean, it's an English one. These look like something you see in America. Uh, Maine, England, Fifth, no, Firth, Cleveland. Oh, okay, it's, it's from the Firth. I'm near Scotland. Firth, Cleveland, license, Eck, slash, Lang, or Lang. Lang, I think that's meant to be. Yeah, it's definitely 60s because it's etched into it as well. And it's sort of like 60s font. It's quite hot there. Very good hairdryer. So we're going to be focusing on some of these. I've got some more travel hairdryers to do. And I've got a few more that I've put some more plugs on. Um, I have some unbelievably small hairdryers. Like, we're talking probably so small they could pass as like Barbie hair dryers. Literally, I've got these tiny, tiny ones um, that I picked up from British Heart Foundation. I've got about two of them. Um, I think Fran or something, it's Franz, I think it is by, or something like that. House, is it? House, Franz by House or something it is. So we'll look at that. Uh, I think I'm going to roll one last video out of the 9530. And I've got a coloured load over there, so you might do that with Laville, uh, the Laville colour pow powder. Got to be a record, we've done six six videos of that machine. Um, I'm trying to see if I can have a word with Rob and Steve about getting the motor for the A3060 and see what happens there. Hopefully, though, with... Uh, there's been good news about the coronavirus. I will tomorrow probably actually roll out a video of me doing my weekly update on how I'm coping with the virus and whatnot. And then we have the uh, we have the washing machine experiences um, thing to well appliance experience uh, video to do as well. So I'll also get started with that. Maybe I'll do a series of three videos tomorrow and roll them out over a period of time. So hope you guys stay safe. Hope you've enjoyed this video of this little gem. And thank you to the eBay seller who actually had this. Um, thank you very much for watching guys and don't forget to keep it supreme and go with the flow and stay safe.